The caution follows the confusion that greeted a decision to roll over matured cocoa bills last week without the investors' consent. While the central bank, together with Cocoa Board and the banks, have agreed to pay individual bondholders who may not want to roll over, institutional investors will have their bills rolled over for another six months at the same rate of 30.78%. Stephen Opata is the director of the Financial Markets Department at the Bank of Ghana. Bills as they've been designed are similar to the Bank of Ghana bills uh, that we issue as a central bank for monetary policy purposes, as to mop up liquidity from the system. Now, um, so, but cocoa bills were designed to mainly for financial institutions uh, to uh, assist cocoa board with its temporary financial uh, needs, uh, such as their working capital. So if you look at the notice that the central bank sends to banks, we invite bids from banks for the cocoa bills. And, and this notice actually says that banks are eligible to participate. So, so it was not intended for individuals or retail clients. Uh, so, uh, so we know, but we've noticed that some of the banks are selling this to um, their to individuals, that they are, they are customers. And that's something that uh, I think we don't want to encourage going forward. So what will be the conversation with the banks in terms of averting such a situation? Because we realized investors were quite worried that their accounts were credited and debited at the same time if the product is not designed for them. Our statements has indicated that uh, we, Cocoa Board is working to, to, to at least make sure that they, are, they get their cash flows that the individuals were expecting right away. But we also will work with the banks to clarify that the cocoa bills are intended uh, or the target investors are institutional investors, that's financial institutions, and that's how they should market this product going forward.